Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you can see me right now. It's about 90 minutes before sunrise and I think I'm pushing ISO 25,000 just to film this. So I don't know if I'm in focus, I don't know if you can even see me, but you gotta work with what you got. And right now there's just not much light. So the reason I'm here this early is because yesterday I came about half an hour before sunrise and I found a barred owl and it was hunting squirrels. And when I went to set up my gear and start filming it, I lost it for about two seconds and then I was looking around, couldn't find it anywhere. And I lost it after that for about half an hour. And when it came back in that general area, I noticed it had a bit of blood over the eye. So it probably made a kill, it probably ate, and I missed it. So I'm here an hour and a half before, it's totally dark. I'm not even in the forest yet, this is kind of out in the open. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but it's totally pitch black. So I'm gonna head in there to the general area where I found it and hopefully it's still around hunting and maybe even catching something because, oh man, that would be awesome. In the winter time, you really take anything you can get here and a barred owl eating a squirrel would just be, you know, tough notch for the winter time. So stay tuned, hopefully we find something and I'll see you soon. Well, unsurprisingly, I can't see anything. So even though I can't see, I'm using three things that can possibly help me out. One is just looking up at the sky and hopefully being able to see the silhouette of the owl as it's perched. Another thing that I can do is listen for squirrels. If the squirrels start alarm calling, uh, or maybe if other birds start alarm calling, that might be able to help me locate the owl. And uh, third, I'm looking for the owl in flight because the underwing of the owl is usually a lot brighter. It's a little bit more white. So that catches the eye a little bit. So against these dark trees, if it does fly, that's probably my best option to see it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's still quite, quite dark. Uh, I'm using the Sigma 100 to 400 today. I've been using it a ton. I've been going on a lot of hikes, doing a lot of scouting because this summer will be the first summer where I can actually do photography in the summer. So I'm excited to be able to do it more full time. And I've just been putting in the kilometers about like 10 to 20 kilometers a day, just scouting different areas. So come springtime, come summertime, I'll, I'll have some good locations scouted out because during the winter time, there's really not too much going on. So I'm gonna do another loop now and let's go find that owl. My goal is to beat that sunrise. We gotta find the owl before the sun comes up. Sorry about that, I didn't take out this camera, but I was on the other side and I saw the owl fly by. He's perched here right now, but I saw him fly by and then a few squirrels started alarm calling. So I ran over to this side and I just started filming. I didn't bother taking out this camera because I didn't know how long he'd be around for. And oh, and these squirrels, these squirrels are honestly really, really bold. But uh, yeah, so I filmed him for about half an hour and now he's just perched. I think he might be a little bit tired and we're still about 15 minutes till sunrise. So I pretty much just got some footage there. I know it's probably gonna be grainy and I had some trouble tracking it because it's just really, really dark at the time. Yeah, hopefully he stays around long enough that we can get some photos because I don't think any photos from earlier were any good because it was quite dark.
That was an amazing morning. Right at the end there, about 20 minutes after the sun came up, a couple of crows came and started mobbing the owl. So the owl took off into a cavity and I was able to get some extra shots there in the cavity. So just a beautiful, beautiful morning. The light was gorgeous. Now it's a little bit high, so I'm deciding to leave, but wow. It was pitch black. It's minus 20 degrees out right now and we got it done. So I'm like ecstatic over the moon. These winter days like this, man, can be brutal. You might not see anything the entire day. So it's just awesome to actually get something. So thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Happy birding.